our secret and our hidden things secret you are sitting down here there are secrets about you nobody knows secrets so when you read ecclesiastes the verse 14 ecclesiastes 12 14 he said he said he said for god will bring every work into judgment with every secret thing secret thing secret girlfriend secret boyfriend secret sending of mobile money secret you have been sending to angela secret <laughs> secret yeah it's only you and the mobile people that know that a certain angela have been receiving money oh the secret things on that day they will be brought out everything secret careful oh. is the pastor preaching a good preach the way you are quiet say pastor preach on praise the lord secret we are secretive we have hidden things and the secret things that alone can take us a whole week but let me just break down two and show you number one secret thing god will judge is a secret in your heart there are things in your heart people don't know. Oh, sometimes the people sleeping with you on the same bed, they don't know. Oh, the secrets in your heart, God will bring them out on that day. That's why He said in First Samuel chapter sixteen, verse seven, He said, "God does not judge like man, for man looketh at the outward appearance, but God looketh inside the heart." First Corinthians chapter four, verse five. Give me First Corinthians four five every secret in your heart every secret in your heart every secret in my heart first corinthians chapter 4 verse 5 therefore judge nothing before the time until the lord shall come who will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the heart the things that are in your heart Check your heart. Are there certain secret things? And begin to say, Lord, help me. Have mercy on me. Clear them before that day. Because secret things will be brought out. Not only the thoughts and the secret things in your heart, the thoughts you conceived. The second thing, when it comes to hidden things, thoughts you conceived. You conceived them. Nobody saw it. Yeah. Jesus was preaching. People conceived thought. They say, Who is he? Who is he? Jesus saw it. And he said, Why do you conceive said thought? Thoughts that you are conceiving, nobody sees. You see? Jesus will judge us. Thoughts. They are thoughts. When you read 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 to 20, you see it. I won't go into it. That was why the rich man in Luke chapter 12 was killed. God judge him. Luke chapter 12, 18 to 20. The Bible said he conceived in his heart. He, he, he thought in, him, in his mind that I will break my bands, I will expand. And God sat in heaven and said, Thou fool, your soul will be required. Judgment came on him. The thoughts nobody knows about. Nothing nobody knows about. Yeah. You are imagining. Nobody knows about. You are looking at that girl, yellow girl. <sighs> if I get her behind some corner, pa. Yeah. You didn't say anything. It's in your head, though. You didn't say anything. God will bring them, and you see that it will be rolling. Can it? It is film. No, you roll, no. Basa, God will bring all out. The, the Bible says He will bring all out, not some. Oh. So if there is anything you have to do, begin to say, Lord, all the old ones, wipe them off. And from today, help me, help me not to have certain thoughts. I'm telling you, thoughts. And another thing is pride. When he said hidden things, sometimes there, especially spiritual pride, the spiritual pride you have. That's why two people went to the temple to pray in Luke chapter 18. And the Bible said, one went back home 
God did not answer him. The other one was justified. In other words, God judged for him. He said, you are okay. Why? Because he beat his chest and said, I'm not worthy. Have mercy on me. The other one said, I pay tight. I'm this. I'm better than, I'm not even like that. All of you with this kind of pride, you look at people and you feel you are the nicest girl. Even in the church, you feel you are the most beautiful girl. Beauty is only in the eye of the beholder. For someone, beauty is flat nose. For another one, beauty is pointed nose. So don't deceive yourself that your nose is pointed so you are the most beautiful. It is only men that will show who is beautiful. You are deceiving yourself. You have a certain pride and ego. That you come from a certain home. In your house, it's like this, it's like that. It's, it's pride that makes you feel that certain people are below you. You can talk and feel that certain people are not your class. You can look at somebody's dress and say, mm -hmm. It's a pride. It's pride. Just because you pick one useless dress from Harold's, you think you are in a class. Pride. Pride. Pride that makes you feel that you are the best pastor in town. Nobody preaches like you. Nobody's anointed. Who you be? Who, who, who you be? All of us are nothing. It's only grace. We the carriers. It's pride that makes you feel that you, your kind of car, your kind of thing. Listen, God will bring it all out. God will bring it all out. Whatever you are, please size yourself down. And let me show you one more thing. Maybe I've taken too much time, but it doesn't matter. Let me show you one more thing when it comes to the hidden things. The, the, the hidden things. The motive behind what you, what you do. The motives behind the things you do. Why did you do the thing you do? Yeah, You did it, maybe for vain glory. You did it so that people will praise you. <laughs> Galatians 5.20 says, so we should not do things for vain glory. You did it. The Bible said in 1 Samuel chapter three, chapter 2, verse 3. I close on that. He said, Go, 1 Samuel 2, 3. He said, God weighs our motives. Well, actually, he weighs it. He put it on it and weighs it. He weighs it. You are sweating and screaming. Yes, because you want people to sow seed. It's not that you want them to go to heaven. It's not, it's not that you want to help them. You want them to sow a seed. That's why you're preaching is some way. So that they'll be running and dropping on the altar. God is weighing all that. What's the motive behind what you are doing? Yeah. You are pretending to be doing something whilst you are praying. Just because you don't want to pray. You are pretending to be serious. Oh, I'm going to be I'm there. But it's just because you don't. You, you, there's a motive. There's a reason. Everything you are doing, there's a reason. Sometimes even the dancing you are dancing is because brother Ntiapia has come to church. <laughs> so that he will see you and feel you are spiritual. Meanwhile, you are not spiritual but kumpo. But what is the motive? I want to judge Sorry, sorry.